Guys, welcome to today's issue of Burnham Brother Antiques. What we're going to do today is show you some restock at the Heart of Ohio Antique Center. I got a list of all the dealers that have been here so far today. I'm going to check out their booths and we will see what they brought in. Okay, we're going to start right here at 1271. Lots of glass in this booth, uh, freshly restocked. Interesting items, a lot of mid-century, um, even 80s stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, I like the Nicodemus bird back here. Swan's cool. Interesting group all the way through. There's some Japanese pieces, lots of studio pottery. Uh, artist signed studio pottery, just beautiful pieces. Oh, I found a piece I think I should buy. This one right here, this box, I like that a lot. And I like that bud vase in the back too. Maybe there's two pieces I might pick up. Uh, really cool uh, group of stuff here though. Freshly restocked. These guys have been in here several times uh, a week so far. They've just they've been pretty new to the mall, but man, they're restocking cra like crazy. Their prices are very reasonable. Booth number twelve is seventy one. Okay, fifty one fourteen is the next dealer restock I want to highlight. Check it out. He always has great stuff uh, all the way through all of his cases. What a display master right here! And he's got a little bit of everything. The toothpick holders to wall clocks. Look at all the cuckoo clocks down there sculptures just a fun booth um and he puts stuff in here almost every day he's here all the time oh i love the little birds over here check these guys out that's cool man that's a good buy too 35 dollars he sells a lot of volume guys um come check him out he's got all kinds of stuff from victorian stuff to mid-century stuff uh, look at the owl that's a nice owl too I like that a lot. $36 on the owl. And that's a bargain. It's got a whole collection of haul over in the corner. Love the covered deer on the nest back here in the back. Those are fun. Or fox. Are those fox on the nest. That's pretty fun. Uh, man, there's a lot of stuff in this booth. Very well displayed. And just a lot of volume everywhere you look. It's really fun interesting group let me back up so you can get a good view of this side of his booth freshly restocked uh, you can almost come to his booth every day he puts new stuff in it almost every day F takes full advantage of every square inch that he can uh, and again he sells a lot of volume pretty cool stuff just restocked Okay, dealer 5152. Now, this is just one of the highlights of the antique center right here, guys. Great collection. Uh, great Americana. There's good good European antiques in here. It's a mix of everything. And you're going to find uh, rare items throughout the entire booth. Restock today. Look at the lions down here. These are so gorgeous. There's tiles. There's art pottery. There's porcelains. Uh, Majelica, there's glass, there's folk art. Just a wide, wide mix of a lot of different categories. Love the little, uh, probably a tea caddy right here. That's pretty cool. Kind of looks like a Delft piece. 1893 exhibition egg. Just rarities after rarities. The Van Briegel bunny rabbit's really cool. I want to take you through this entire booth. It's so well displayed well uh, i'm gonna say manicured is the wrong word but just does an excellent job on displaying everything curated is the word i was looking for and then look at the glass great selection of victorian glass and a big bride's bowl or cranberry glass bowl in the back amberina Vaseline, there's cranberry colors. Oh, this picture down here's got great color on that one. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful pieces. This showcases and showcases of nice quality all the way through. Back up and show you here. And then you get to walk on the back side. And you find all kinds of rare stuff. There's great custard glass. There's flow blue. There's hall. There's porcelains. Royal Dalton. Um, Ruby flash glass. There's a lot of stuff here, guys. Uh, German steins. 
great German Stein collection. Looks like some Metlock stuck in through there. Beautiful pieces. Look at the Dalton Burslem up top. Some Warwick. Nice grouping um, of rarities throughout the entire area. Check it out. There's even Murano glass mixed in, art pottery. And if you need a shoe, this booth right here has got your shoe. It's got a whole display of shoes. Very interesting. Again, booth number 51, 52, and 53, double booth here, freshly restocked today. Dealer 3225 restocked today. Some interesting items in here. Look at that fish in the back. That is just cool. Uh, that's a big fish too. Lots of interesting things in here. Lots of costume jewelry, designer pieces. There's mid-century stuff. There's antique stuff. There's a wide variety. Booth number 3225, uh, just restocked. A lot of jewelry in the back. Booth number 71, 13, and 14 is this one right here. So this is Mamaw's booth. She just restocked today. That's interesting. I uh, didn't realize I was coming back here to her booth to film, but that's what her booth is. Uh, and then she also, whoever owns this booth just restocked, 7114. So a lot of stuff in this booth as well. There's a Victorian dresser in here. Uh, some interesting jackets, some furniture, big set of scales, Coke items, fun group. Okay, booth number 6113, completely uh, freshly restocked, the entire booth. Lots of new items in here, and this guy has always got really interesting items. Um, mid-century, a lot of mid-century, a lot of designer pieces in here. I love the, what was it, Curtis Jure palms over here, that's cool. Uh, just interesting everywhere you look. Oil paintings, there's sculptures on the wall. I love the tile fish over here. That's fun, the burl wood is really cool. There's some Van Briegel down there, cool rug. Royal Copenhagen, I think that's what that is, let's check it. Yeah, that's Royal Copenhagen Danish. Interesting piece here. Uh, all the tables are fun. Old hickory uh, rocker, or hickory, bit hickory rocker here. Very interesting. On this side, looks like some Higgins here. A little bit of everything. Interesting blue glass here. What is this one made? This is Royal Copenhagen as well. That's fun. fun look to that. Again, freshly restocked today. Come check it out, booth 6113. 6250, they came back and dropped some more stuff off in here today too. Uh, interesting, again, this dealer is just new to the mall this week. Uh, really incredible group of folk art all the way through. I love the painted basketry. Fun, fun showcase here at 6250 and restocked again today. I like that whale up there. That's kind of cool. I think I might have to buy that whale. Pretty cool piece. I like that one. All right, guys, booth 8108, uh, freshly restocked. Again, just some really incredible items throughout the entire booth. Let's take a look at what they got here. Very fun. I love all the advertisement. Look at the purses on the bottom. Showcases are very well displayed here as well. Look at all the Easter items. He's cool. He's only 26 bucks. Look at that chicken, uh, chick nodder here. That's a good buy. $10 on the snow baby. That's a good buy. 15 on the Easter bunny. Great buys in this showcase. $19 on the silver over here. Really good buys. Let's go on up, have a more, little bit more look of some of the Christmas items in here. Wow. Man, these guys have really got a price to sell, guys. Lots of this is $5 to $15 range. Uh, freshly restocked. You better come check this one out. This is booth number uh, 8108. Lots of pieces in here. Fun group. All the way through, they just got very interesting. I'm getting caught up looking at prices myself now. I'm like, man, there's a lot of good buys in this booth. If you're not familiar with this booth, it's in building eight all the way down to the right. Uh, just fun stuff throughout the entire booth. Chalkware, and then you get all the blow molds up top. Man, like that's a $60 blow mold. At Christmas time, these fly out of here. $85 for the great big Halloween one. That's a great buy. $75 on the lantern. 
75 on the bunny. Nice stuff everywhere in this booth at very reasonable prices, guys. Come check it out. Support support these guys. Just again, freshly restocked with lots of stuff uh, and a lot of great buys. Booth number 8108. 8108. Come check it out. Pretty cool. Interesting booth tour of all the dealers that uh, restocked this morning. And I'm gonna go and do some sold bins now. Let me finish this video out with some cool sold bins. Let's check this out. First bin here's just got a lot of small, interesting items in it. I'm guessing that's a watch. Yeah, that's a watch. $59 on this guy. Uh, lots of postcards in here. Let's see what kind of price ranges these are. Price range, five bucks. Uh, city postcards, $5 each. Here's a little Bakelite piece priced at $22. A little trivet here for six dollars is coke uh, it says coke on there 195 dollars on the girl swinging interesting group okay next group here let's see what we got we got a little butter dish for ten dollars piece of pyrex in the back is priced at eighteen dollars a pickle jar here at fifteen dollars next row down a sieve for ten dollars interesting little uh, sieve right here he's buying some nice glass I like this guy right here. I think I featured this one yesterday on the video. That one was 125 on the Cambridge lady. She's cool. Another piece of Cambridge here is priced out for what we got? $75 on this one. Cambridge for 10. A little Fenton uh, with the blue crest on the top. I'm not sure what the proper name for that's called, but $25 on that guy. Great buy on a little cat pillbox for two bucks. That's a bargain down here for two dollars. Interesting group. There's another big uh, Fostoria piece in the back of Cambridge. I'm not sure which that one is. Let's look. Probably Cambridge ice bucket. Fifteen dollars on the Cambridge ice bucket. That's a bargain. Here's another Pyrex bowl. This one here is priced at forty-five dollars in the sold bin. Right above it, every day Fiesta plates sell here. These are priced at nine ninety-nine, nine dollars and ninety cents each. Nice little hand-painted pen here priced at $22 that's a nice buy every day there's great buys here $12 look at the work on that pen that is gorgeous 12 bucks sort of a Corolla for $29 that's a pretty good size piece okay the cats are fun Popeye down here let's start with him $30 on the Popeye the cat uh, man these guys are cool price $29.99 Interesting, that's the sugar and the creamer for $29.99. Uh, and then right here behind it, we have a $150 1967 Popeye grouping. Another Popeye over here for $8. And then all of these are all Popeye. We got a Popeye collector in the house, $35 each on the Popeye figurines and $11 on the Popeye uh, cup. Another Fiesta pitcher priced at $30. That's a big lantern priced at $175 right down here. Big lantern. Uh, like the color on it, like the patina. Uh, Lucas is here. He's got a cart. He's got a wagon. He's getting ready to fill it up. You've been sorting and buying stuff all week. You're getting ready to go pay for it, right? Yeah, we've been looking early. have been looking all week, piling stuff up. Now he's going to get his bill paid. Camel's in the house too. She just got here a little bit ago. We went and filmed your booth, but uh, what, what's your word of the day? Ooh, I gotta think about it. Um, uh huh. Caught you on the spot today. I did. <laughs> um, I got one for you. Hugs. I'm gonna give you a big old hug. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> speechless today. The word of the day is, is speechless. I love it. <laughs> I think it's control what you say and uh, you'll be happy. <laughs> control what you say and you'll be happy. <laughs> that is true. The mouth gets us in trouble all the time, doesn't it? Yes. Uh oh. Jimmy just walked in. He's all decked out for the uh, four o'clock show coming up on whatnot. That's funny. So what you got going on here, bub? Oh, uh, well, we got our Monday show right here. Premium picks for Monday. Yeah, got a few pieces from the Harley. Th that's a cool piece of glass. Now look at this paperweight right here. Which one? That's Italian, isn't it? I believe so, and it's just like really cool. Kind piece. of like a candy ribbon on the inside. Yeah, the only problem is it has like a little dent right there. I believe one more somewhere. So oh yeah, right there. Okay. But it's still a really great, and look at this sailboat. That looks like Murano. Huh? That's what the tag says, Murano. I like the colors on that. I like the, the pink up top and the white in the middle. It's got a cool little wave of glass going on. Yeah, it's just neat. That's a sailboat. All right. Um, and we have all this stuff down here, like all this fish. All, all the, the fish and the things. glass. So this week's going to be more glass type stuff then, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. I okay. Guess we kind of switched this week. Kind of, so last week was pottery. This week's glass. Well, That's we okay. Several art glass fish this week. Okay. 
Yeah. Good deal. And you're getting your bill paid right now. About to. Perfect. Well, that was an interesting tour of the heart of Ohio with the fresh restock uh, in the heart today. All the dealers are restocked. We got some sold bins in, showing you what Lucas is buying, and I'm getting ready to go back here and do a whatnot sale. So, uh, Meredith, any words for today? Uh -huh. You've been selling much? Yeah, we've been selling quite a bit of stuff today. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and come in. Come, come shop, come, right? Come, shop. <laughs> come hang out. Come shop with us. That's awesome.